Hello everyone, welcome to a theory video, which is basically based on a small other theory about Jada as a dreadlord, but she's not a dreadlord. Now hear me out. Jaina and Anduin are servants of the old god. And something Ration has to do with everything. So, because I'm, I might know some things about next expansion already, I'm not gonna say it. But we will be, we will be seeing a little bit of Ration next expansion. There, without spoiling anything, you will be seeing a little bit of Ration next expansion. Also, Jaina, also Anduin. Yeah, this makes sense, but um, Jaina went crazy, destroying the hordes, killing the hordes after the bombing of Terramor and after the, the Bell incident in Pandaria. Which, then after they dealt with all of that, she goes to uh, Varian, like, dismantle the hordes. Which Anduin, at th that time, wanted to stop and it worked actually. But now, he's just going to Undercity, destroying the place. I'm speaking about this little fuck here. The fucking priest, uh, not a good one. Because he cheats. I mean, can't you play this fucking game? Do you have to cheat, fucking dipshit? <laughs> My hatred for Anduin is known. <laughs> but actually... What I think is that Ration bombed or set a flame to tell the Rasil, which was great news, huge news. So everyone gathers in Stormwind. I'm talking about uh, Tyrande will be there, Illyria, Windrunner will be there, Megatork will be there, Gen Greymane will be there, everyone will be there, except for Malfurion, we don't know anything about Malfurion yet. So, including, but this is the spoilery part, Ration will be there. Ration. Yeah, he's uh, the, one, the Black Dragonflight. Yeah, remember Cataclysm, who was the leader of the Black Dragonflight? That wing, who was also corrupted by the old gods. Now, it, it might not make sense, but I believe it all has to do with the old gods, because Sargeras stabbed the sword. If you haven't seen it yet, it's out now the video. I knew it a few weeks now that Sargeras was gonna stab Silithus. It wasn't in the database and all that, and the PTR. So, you can go check it out right now if you want. So it's just next to the old god Katoon. Now, since the starting of the expansion Legion, we already knew from Maggie Br Maggie Maggie Bronzebeard that the old gods are active again. They're stirring up, and we see if we go to Ulduar that well, Yoxaron is ri trying to rise again. Same for Katoon and Zot we still haven't seen yet, so. They're stirring up their plans again. They're getting to, pop, to rise again. So who will they need? Well, Jaina is hated the Horde, so it's easier for her if we just get another Dragonflight working for us. So the old god. Well, if you could do the Emerald Nightmare, the boss, his name, uh, Il. What's his name again? Il. Ilganot. There's like a, a, a text where he says the boy king will sit on our tables or something. Meaning, meaning, purely meaning, he's already corrupted by the old gods right now. Right now he's already corrupted by the old gods. Why would he hate the horde so much? He's, he's been a pussy all, all time long. He's, he's tried, actually tried to make world peace. Even more than fucking Jaina did, and Jaina was awesome, this piece of shit isn't. Jaina's still awesome, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Troll and Jaina constantly work for peace up until Pandaria. This little shit gets in, does the same thing. It's basically a Jaina wannabe, because 
one piece and, and, and stuff and stuff stuff making fruit b biscuits for the horde and stuff and now he wants to destroy them oh yeah who else uh, do we know that did that Jaina Proudmore oh, of course fun fact both of their fathers are dead okay that wasn't fun fact uh, fucking Varian was way better so yeah I think Ration is corrupting Jaina and Anduin which is, by the way, also corrupted by the old gods. So Jaina isn't the dreadlord. She's just corrupted by the old gods, or by Ration. Just one of the last dragonflies. It's really as simple as that. There, it's the only theory that makes sense. And why, why would Anduin attack? I mean... Yeah, because of, of, of something that burned down, so he just decides to attack Undercity. So, next expansion will have ambassador, ambassadors. Um, so, I think Ration might be the ambassador of the old gods. And I really have no, no logical explanation, so why Ration will be there. But it, it does explain why Jaina and Anduin start attacking the Horde suddenly, so... And for the Old Gods, it makes sense. What did the Horde and the Alliance do the entire time? When there's something huge happening, like Old Gods... Katoon. We work together, we stop them. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yagjaran. We almost work together, but we stop them. Oh. That wing. We work together and we stop them. So, yeah. Whatever we do, we work together and we stop them. So, for the old gods, it makes sense to not learn from anyone's mistakes. And if these two groups destroy each other, weaken each other so much that the old gods can rise up, that makes perfect sense. So, they need someone to do it. And the logical thing is... Redion, Redion, because, well, he's a the dragonfly, the black dragonfly, so that ring was also corrupted by them. Who knows, he might always have been corrupted by the old gods. Or even uh, one of their greatest allies. So that's my theory. Give your thoughts to it in the comment section if you believe it's true. If you might have around the same theory as I have right now. Just let me know in the comments. And if this video could get 5 likes, that would be amazing. And I will hope to see you all next video. Goodbye, thanks for watching my small theory video or where I discuss that this fuck right here is working for an old god. Well, or for someone corrupted by the old gods. Which makes sense. But okay, thanks for watching guys. Goodbye and enjoy.